it's time for another Fram build. So Fram is an interesting unit because she's very fast and she has very good availability. And she's generally used on utility units, but this is a weird build that came out of running flyers only. So I gave myself a restriction of only being able to run flyers. So here is the build, it's very simple. So you have 11 sword griffin knight who can do things like obstruct, restore, physic, heal. Uh, you can re-warp, but you can't warp or rescue, unfortunately. And you put Makaya on the Leaven Sword. So you create a Leaven Sword out of a Steel Sword early, which is very easy to do. And you don't get Makaya back until later on. So this becomes, you know, one of the few weapons that can have a Makaya engraving on it. This boosts her Avoid rate. So you're stacking Avoid with Speed. And this makes her so dodgy that enemies refuse to treat, turns up, like, they refuse to even attempt to attack her. They will completely ignore her because her avoid is way too high. She also has Crimson Shear, which gives her and Alir plus 10 avoid. So you can make both of them avoid tanks, and there's different builds, and they can both run them together. And you also can run Sword Agility 3. Now, with Tier 4 Welling, before you lose Marth, you can get Sword Agility 3. Alternatively, you could run her as a Lance Wyvern and go for Lance Agility, which I believe is on Erica. But that's another plus 20 avoid on top of the, I believe, 30 avoid this Love and Sword grants, and then you also run dual supports. So Fram has supports with certain units that usually you run or you might want to run. So at least Alir and Chloe she has supports with. So if she stands next to Alir and Chloe, she hits 178 avoid. Very few end game enemies have this high of hit rate, let alone like mid game enemies. But if you really are worried about getting hit, you can get her to 200 avoid pretty easily on this build. Now, I actually use Fram as a tank. Like, her avoid is so high, no matter where I park her, she's a tank. So if I just send her over here, just wait, then I go park Alir next to her. She's 153 avoid. This guy has 2% hit rate on her. This guy has 0%. This guy has 0%. So this enemy has a 2% chance to hit her now. <laughs> let's see what he does. <laughs> let's, see, let's see if he enjoys this as much as I do. And the funny thing is, she has no health. She has no health, no durability. He literally just ignored her and went right for Alir. Now, Alir is using the wrong weapon, too. So let me pulse back really quick. So those other enemies didn't even attack her. They actually... Well, they did, but they had no hit rate. They set up a backup attack. So Alir usually has a weapon that has higher avoid than this. In this particular case. But there are other engravings that can get you avoid increase. So, for example, the... Sigurd engraving gets you plus 20 avoid. The leaf engraving, if we switch weapons to this, this is the weapon Alir actually likes to use. So a huge difference in avoid there. <laughs> so if we park, so leaf gives I think like 10 or 15. So if we equip this, now I'm 133 avoid. So both of these are high and then plus 10 from being next to Fram. She gives herself and Alir plus 10 avoid. This is a very fun build. It's very broken too. Fram is unkillable. Nothing has killed Fram to date on this run. Nothing can touch her. She's unhittable. <laughs> she cannot be hit. And then Alir benefits from Fram's passive, which increases avoid. And also, both of them run dual support, and they both get A support with each other. And then you're looking at high avoid rates on both units. And then you can add units. So, like, let's say you stack in another Chloe or something. Now Alir's avoid is 158. You can add another unit. <laughs> And you can make like a wall of dual support units that just keep scaling each other's avoid to the point where nothing will attack you no matter where you're at. It's basically like Thief, if Thief, thief was better than what Thief is currently. It's like a, a superior Thief. Look at the hit rate too, Jesus Christ. Look at this hit rate right now. Oh, from all this A support. 235 hit. Look at that, like the, it's so easy to stack avoid in this. And then you can run utilities, so like this is an IV utility, I'll go over this build in a separate video, but yeah, you can run whatever you want uh, with this, with these two, and this, these can just tank no matter what. This is like having a Lucina Bonded Shield at all times for free. It might even be better than Bonded Shield. Now, the, the difference between this and Bonded Shield is that Bonded Shield allows you to take incoming hits and then to build around like Lance Power, Sword Power, Axe Power, and Speed, so you always double and counter attack in one round. But this allows you to just position anywhere, and if you just block a one by one or a two by two choke point, enemies can't get to you and they will refuse to attack you and just sit there. It's it's literally game breaking. 
So this is my game-breaking Griffin Knight Fram build. So definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Feel free to drop a comment. The other thing too is she can deal chip damage. So she really just sets up kills and use, uses staves. And she can also do things like obstruct, you know, cleanse, whatever. But yeah, definitely like and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this build. Currently it's killing it on Maddening. I've been live streaming this. So be on the watch out for that. I'm going to come up with a schedule for live streaming. Uh, but yeah, thanks for checking this out. Peace.